Hey YouTube, I want to talk a little bit about uh, brake drag and brake pull. Uh, it seems that some people are a little bit confused as to uh, kind of the difference and what uh, what to look for. So I'm going to explain it to you real quick and then I'm going to talk about what was wrong with this car. Uh, if you're going down the highway and let's say you just you know, don't totally let go of the wheel, but you kind of hold it very loosely in your car. Let's say it pulls to the left. Well, it could be a number of things. Tires, tire rods, ball joints, whatever. But if a brake is dragging, then whatever direction your car is going, that is the dragging brake. So if it drifts left, then it's going to be your driver's side uh, brake is dragging. You know, and if it drifts right, then it's the right side. However, if you put on the brakes or push on the pedal and it drifts left, then the problem is probably the other side. It's probably the right side. So your, your left side caliper, your driver's side caliper is working and it's pulling the car to the left. And the right side is probably froze up or maybe you got a clogged line and it's not applying the even amount of pressure. So that's why it drifts that way. So it's important to kind of know the difference of um, those two scenarios. My problem with this car, uh, if you've let go of the wheel, going down the highway, went nice and straight. As soon as you applied brake pressure, it pulled to the right. So that tells me there's something wrong with the left side. That just means the right side caliper uh, is working and is trying to stop the car and the left side is not working. So it has uh, new calipers, new rotors, new pads, fairly new anyway. And the culprit is the brake line. Um, more often than not, it's a frozen caliper or something like that. Uh, but the caliper was not working right and the brake line is clogged. So well, that's kind of how you differentiate between, you know, like I said, let go of the wheel, you know, just a little bit and see which way it drifts, or is it when you push on the pedal? Now, it's very important to know the two, like when you take it to your mechanic, you can diagnose the problem much quicker. Um, so that's all this one was, was the brake line. I think it was, this is a 2008 uh, Ford Escape. Uh, brake line was like 26 bucks or something in advanced auto. And I could tell right a difference when I took the old line off, no brake fluid come out of the line at all, which is very rare. Usually it at least drips some. Uh, as soon as I installed the new one, brake fluid started dripping right out of the brake line. So, um, great telltale sign that that was the problem. So anyway, hope this cleared up. A uh, couple questions for you guys and hope it helps you out a little bit. Alrighty, thanks for watching.